Hi everyone, Bob Black with Spider TV, our summertime series of introducing you to the new Spider basketball players. Continues today, we have a couple of the women's players with us, one a freshman, one a transfer, and a sophomore that we'll introduce you to today. On my left is Celia Satter, she comes to us from Illinois, and on my right is Kate Klimkowitz, who comes to us via Boston College, but is a Virginian from Oakton, Virginia. Uh, Celia, let me start with you. Uh, how did you determine that Richmond was the right spot for you? You're coming from, from the Midwest from Illinois. What brings you to the capital of Virginia? Um, I was looking for a smaller school. Obviously academics are a big thing in my family with my sister playing at Penn. Um, and then I wanted to go far from home because I like, I like exploring and new places so I like Virginia just came here. What were the things that attracted you to Richmond both off the court and on the court? Off the court I love how it's like a bigger campus with a smaller population of students um, and then on the court I love like the team com camaraderie and like um, how everyone supports each other and it's just uh, good vibes. When the coaching change happened what did you do to find out more about Coach Roussel and what were your kind of interactions with him like in coming to Richmond? Um, my mom and I like Googled him. We found out like um, how great of a coach he was at Bucknell, like his top priorities um, with his team, with um, like his academics wise, athletics wise, everything. And then um, we talked on the phone for a little bit, uh, I think like a week or so after he was announced as a new head coach. What will you bring to this spider team? Um, I guess I'll bring, like, I can shoot, so that's it. I'm, like, a tall guard, um, which I guess is, like, a good thing. And I don't know, I'm loud and energetic, so. <laughs> what is different about what you've learned about college basketball from, you know, obviously had a great high school career. How different is that transition from high school to what you're doing so far here in the summertime? Um, it's definitely a big difference. There's a lot um, lot more difficult of like workouts like the running is definitely a lot harder than what we did in high school the lifting it's like less um less like types of lifting but a lot more emphasis on like certain ones like i've never squatted that much before and like <laughs> um so it's a lot harder but it's like doable if you put yourself to it Hey, you mentioned uh, the family aspect for you, very important, even though you wanted to go further away from home. Yeah. You come from a basketball family, yes. though, don't you? Yeah, um, my grandpa played in college. My dad played in high school. He could have played in college, but he didn't. And then my sister plays in college. Uh, a little bit about your sister. How close are the two of you, the two of you both playing college basketball? Uh, we're super close. She's like my best friend. Um, yeah, so uh, she's the reason I play basketball. So. Very good. All right, let me turn my attention to Kate a little bit. And, and unlike Celia, she's already got some college experience under her belt, so to speak, coming from Boston College. Tell our Spider fans a little bit about what attracted you to Richmond. You know, um, after being a year at BC, I just realized that I did want to be closer to home. Um, and it's actually honestly really nice. I'm really close with my family. So being that far, even though it was only like an hour plane ride, it's just, and you know, the campus is beautiful, the basketball is great, and I love the coaching staff, so that was important as well. What experience, college experience, do you already bring to this team and this program? Um, I would say probably the pace is like the hardest thing to adapt to when you get to the college level. I don't think people really realize how fast the game gets. Um, so I think having a year of that under my belt, honestly, is really helpful, just transitioning. So. And you knew a little bit about Coach Roussel before coming to Richmond when he was at Bucknell. Tell us about that. Um, he was awesome. He was really nice. Um, in high school, he came to a few of my open gyms. So we, we go a little bit back. But um, no, he's awesome. And uh, the rest of the coaching staff is also very nice. So. Well, what have the practices here been like? What are you seeing from this group of spiders? Um, honestly, the energy is great. Everyone's really, really nice. It's a little bit, big, it's a little bit bigger. The team is quite large, but um, not not a bad thing. Um, you know, as I said, the energy is great, and people are getting nice. So. You come from a high school program in which you were very successful. The yeah. team was very successful. How do you kind of translate that to this team that obviously hasn't won as much as it would have liked and would like to get back to those winning ways? Yeah. No. Um, I mean, again, like a really big thing is energy and chemistry on the court, and I think the chemistry is building here. Obviously, I've only been here for three weeks, but um, by the looks of it, everyone knows the plays. Um, you know, good. How have you gotten around campus? How have you learned the University of Richmond in those three weeks? Cel Celia's actually helped me a bit. We're roommates, so um, no, I've the campus is. Honestly, my mom, my mom looked up. She was like, "It's the same square footage as BC, but <laughs> it's a lot more big." It's you know, BC was very 
close. Kudos to your mom. Yeah. That's doing some pretty good research. Oh, yeah, right she there. loves to research. <laughs> Uh, without doing any research, tell us what your game is like. What will you bring to the spiders on the court? What will our spider fans see when they see you on the Robin Center? I'm, I'm a pretty versatile player. I can shoot the ball, but I can also get to the basket. Um, on defense, I bring life. I have really a really long wingspan. So um, I'm really excited. I hope I can play this year. So. We'll be looking for that, a transfer <laughs> from Boston College. But again, I know you're chomping at the bit to get out yeah. there on the court. Interesting, you mentioned that Celia is your roommate. What yeah. kind of guidance can you give her? Because this is her first time <laughs> on a college campus where you already have a year. Um, Like socially or basketball-wise? All the way around. Basketball, yeah. academically, <laughs> all of that. <laughs> socially, she's doing pretty well. She has a lot of friends. Um, I think like the biggest thing is keeping your door open with your freshmen. Honestly, no, like seriously, like you'd be surprised like how many people actually come and talk to you um, and then I guess basketball just listening um, if you don't pick up on things fast it kind of puts you behind did her answer there surprise you at all when she said that the pace of practice and the things we do is entirely different than not, high school not really I think when I got to BC too like the pace really surprised me and I personally kind of had a hard time transitioning so um, she's doing well though so <laughs> well, let me ask Celia about that real quick before we finish up what kind of mentor what kind of guide is she She's actually really good. Um, she's been like helping me. Uh, like she always, she drives me everywhere. I don't have a car, so I mean, she's like basically my mom here. Um, I mean, she just, she's always there for me, biggest supporter, you know. And so will all the rest of your teammates, and so will the Spider fans once you guys get on the court. Celia, Kate, thank you for being with thank us. You. Welcome to the University of Richmond.